In this video, we're going to learn about Carnot map or K map. Carnot maps use an array of cells to represent binary values of the input variables. And the number of cells in Carnot map is equal to the total of number of possible input variable combinations. And the number of cells can be determined using the formula 2 power of n, where uh, the n is uh, the number of input variables. For example, if we have if we have a and b as a uh, input, two inputs, it means two power of two, and it is equivalent to four cells. So this is example of a k map, and we have two inputs here, a and b. And then uh, we have the number 0 and 1 here. 0 is to represent the uh, possible input of B. And possible input of B, uh, the second possible input of B is either 0 or 1. And this one said to uh, represent the possible input of A and to represent the possible input of A also. So it's either 0 or 1. And then the cell here, the numbers inside the cell is to represent the output of the, the operation between A and B. So in this case, you can see that 1 because uh, whenever A is 1 and B is 1, uh, the output for A and B is 1. So that's why the 1 here and the rest is 0. Okay, okay. K map or Carnot map is used to derive a Boolean expression from a truth table and then it can be used also to simplify the Boolean expression. So this is the alternative way to simplify a Boolean expression instead of using laws of Boolean, we can use uh, this K map technique. Okay, we see uh, one part of K map, uh, the truth table to K map. How to map or how to transform a uh, truth table to a K map. So let's say we have two inputs A and B, and this one is actually the possible uh, combination of input of A and B. So of course, if we have two variables as a uh, input as the input, so it is two power of n. It means we need to have four combination of inputs. And this is the output of uh, of uh, A uh, and the A and B inputs. So whatever the output is represented by F. So to map this uh, truth table to this K map, we can see that based on the symbol. So this one is actually referred to this uh, location. And this one is referring to this location, the rectangle. And this one is referring to this location. And this one is referring to this location. So we see that this is uh, when A is 0, B is 0. So this is 0 and 0. So the output for this combination of inputs is located in this area. And if A is 0, B is 1. So A is 0, B is 1. So this is where we put the output. And when A is 1, B is 0. So this is when A is 1, B is 0. This is where we put the output. And when one is A is 1, B is 1. So we put it here. So this is A1, B1. Okay, we see one example. So let's say we have a value for output F. But we do not know the what the operation of A and B. So it's either what, anything. The operation can be, we can use any operation. So as and at the end, we get this output. So how to uh, produce the expression uh, or how to derive an expression from this uh, truth table. So we can map all the outputs from F to the K map and we can see that. So this zero goes to this location or this cell and this one will go to this cell and this one will go to this cell because A1, B0 and this one will go to this cell. So to produce a, an expression from uh, this K map, we need to groups all the ones, yeah? group the ones based on certain rules. 
So how to uh, group the one in order to produce uh, expression, we will see the rules. So this is a number of rules that you need to follow in order to produce uh, an expression from a K map. So a group must only contain ones and no zeros in a group. A group can only be horizontal or vertical, no diagonal. A group must contain uh, two power of n of ones. For example, one, two, four, or eight, or two power of, of one only. And each group should be as large as possible. And groups can overlap. Uh, groups can wrap around a table. Wrap around the table. And every one in uh, must be in at least one group. And there should be as few groups as possible. So we will see one example based on the previous uh, mapping from the truth table. So you have this mapping or this output 0, 1, 1, 1 for this combination of inputs, uh, possible inputs. And when we map to K map, it becomes like this. So how many groups we can produce from this K map? So the first, uh, we need to uh, follow the rules uh, here. Yeah, It must contain a 1 and vertical or horizontal only and it can it must contain two uh two power of n one or two or four or six or, or one two four or eight uh number of ones only so in here we only have three ones yeah we cannot uh, three, uh the 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 group that we can produce is uh, two groups here okay the first group is this part so, uh, and then the second group is this part. Okay, so we need to uh, uh, combine uh, the, uh, the as much as one as possible. So, uh, in this case, uh, how to produce the expression? So, we have two groups here. It means that the blue, the, these groups is represent A and this group is represent B. So how to uh, derive the expression? Okay, actually this group is uh, actually this group we can uh, it's represent by this uh, uh, product of uh, variable. So it becomes a, a uh, b so b not and b. So when you have b not and b or b or and b not, so it can we can cancel so it cancel each other it means that this group is independent of b so we only consider a here that's why we derive an a here so same goes to this group so we have here b and it is uh, a not and a so a not and also a so in this case we can cancel this one it means that this group is uh, independent of a then we just can consider B to represent this group. Yeah. So at the end, uh, this expression actually F is equivalent to A or B. So it means this is actually a uh, all gates yeah, to represent a, a true stable for all gate. So we will look at another example. So we have different uh, output here, different true stable. In this case, the F is 1110 and then when we uh, map this two table to this k map and we got this one will be located here in the cell because 0 0 and then 0 0 so this is 1 and 0 1 0 1 so this is 1 and uh, 1 0 so 1 0 so 1 and 1 1 is 0 so the groups we can produce two groups here yeah okay to come up with the expression so the first group this one is actually a not yeah uh, and then this group is actually b not okay so same as uh previous slide so the this groups the first groups oh no, no this one this group the first group so a not so this one is actually a not 
and then you have B not here and B. So when you have B not and B, actually you can cancel because uh, it will cancel to each other. And it means that this group is independent of B. And then we just uh, take the first uh, variable that is still uh, active, A not here. And then same goes to this one. So we have uh, A not, uh, sorry, B not here. So for this one, uh, B not, and then you have A not and A. So A not and A. So if you have this pair, you can cancel. And then uh, we just consider B not here. And then because you have two groups, we have uh, the first group, we have need to use add here, or, or and then the second group, B not. And then, so this is our expression. So at the end, the F should be equivalent to A not or B not. Okay. So next, we will see another example. So in this case, we have three inputs, A, B, and C. So since we have three inputs, it means we have uh, eight combination of inputs. And then we should have eight cells in our K maps. And we can draw our K maps based on this uh, K maps, uh, B, C, and A. Or we can put A here and then the B, C here, or A, B here and C here, it doesn't matter. Uh, as long as you have the right combination. So if you have B, C here, you have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, and 1, 0. So the first 0 is to uh, for input B, and the second 0 for input C. Same with this one. The first digit is for input B, and the second digit is for input C. And this one is for A. And the ones inside here is Come up, come from this uh, F, the output F. So in this case, we can come out or we can derive two groups. So we have uh, ones with uh, we, uh, it, uh, near to each other with four ones, and this is four ones. So we'll see the, uh, the first group and the second groups. And then how to uh, derive the expression. So we look at the first group uh, is equivalent to A. So this one is equivalent to A and this one is equivalent to B. So you can use the same formula as in the previous slides to come up with this variable. So we see this one A. Yeah. This one, why this one has become A? So because this is A, A. And then you have a... Uh, B not C not B and uh, B not C B B C and B not C. So it's actually it's, it will cancel to each other. So in the, in this case, this group is independent of B and C. So it's just dependent on A. Same with this one. You see, uh, it uh, uh, will be uh, A and A not. So it means independent of A. And then you have C and C not here, so it is independent of C. So at the end, the uh, the the ones is depend to B. So that's why you have A or B in this case. So F is equivalent to A or B. So in this case, uh, C is actually not significant here, and you can even uh, remove C from uh, as an input. It's not giving any uh, significance to the output. Okay, uh, the same uh, truth table, but uh, different view of K maps in different perspective of K maps. You can produce a C here, uh, input C, you can put it here, and then input A, B, you can put it here. So in this case, you will come up with the same uh, expression, but in terms of groups, maybe a little bit different. You can produce one group, and another group. So this one is actually uh, B and this one is actually A. So if you uh, closely uh, see the ones here, this is uh, B. So B1, B1, A is A and A not. So it becomes uh, only dependent to B. Yeah? This one is C and C not. So you can cancel C, you can cancel A. So this group is 
equivalent to B. And this group is uh, equivalent to A. So you see you can cancel C here. And the B is here. So this is B and B not. So you can cancel B. And this group is dependent to A. So A or B. Yeah. So the complete expression, of course, you need to have uh, the output variable here. So F is equal to A or B. Yeah. So uh, you need to make sure that you uh, uh, arrange the uh, inputs correctly here. So the input is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, and 1, 0. Yeah. This is a uh, compulsory. You need to follow this uh, arrangement of inputs in terms of uh, the inputs, uh, uh, possible inputs. Same with this one, the previous slide. So you have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, and 1, 0. Okay, we look at uh, another uh, example. So these groups, you can group like this. And you can group like this, yeah. From this grouping uh, in KMAP, uh, you can produce uh, this expression, yeah. C naught and A. So this one is to represent C naught, and this one is to represent an A. You can pause this video actually to clearly or to uh, look at to to, to derive uh, the uh, expression. Uh, based on the previous formula or technique. Okay, this is another example where you can wrap the table. Yeah, you make the, this one to produce a uh, one group. So in this case, the the first part of one here can be combined with this other the, the other side of one. So it becomes uh, like this. Yeah. So this one is actually will produce not C. Expression not C. Yeah. Okay, we see another example. We can wrap uh, if we have this 4 by 4 uh, cells of K map. So we have one here, one here, one here, and one here. So we can wrap to become like this. And at the end, the result is B not D not. Okay, another example. If you wrap this one, the both top ones and the Another uh, bottom ones you, you can wrap together into one groups, and you will come up with uh, this uh, expression. Yeah. Okay, so next I will show you how to use K map for uh, Boolean simplification. So, uh, with uh, as I mentioned in the earlier slides, K map can be used for uh, Boolean simpl simplification. It is uh, an alternative to uh, Boolean's law. Yeah? Instead of use uh, law of Boolean's, we can use K map. So let's say we have this expression A not B uh, or A and B not or A and B. So we can simplify using uh, K map. First of all, we need to map into uh, K maps. Yeah? So A not B not is equivalent to A0 B1, right? So this one is equivalent to A1, B0, and this one is equivalent to A1, B1. So we can map this one based on the cells in K map. So whenever A0, B1, A0, B1, so this is 1. So this one is actually will go to this cell. A0, B1. So this one will go to this cell, A, B0. So A, B not will go to this cell and A, B will go to this cell. So you can put this like this and then you will group the ones and produce the expression. Yeah? So if you group based on the previous example, we can group this one. And we can group another ones, and at the end we will produce this expression A or B. So from this uh, longer expression, we can simplify to become the simplest version of this expression A or B. 
Okay, we look at another example. So let's say we have A not and B not and C not or A not, B not, C and then we can uh, map into K map. So A not, B, C, B not, C not is actually here. Yeah, this one is actually goes to here. A not B not C. This one goes to here. Yeah. So you can group this one, and then produce the uh, expression. So this one is actually equivalent to A not B not. Yeah, A not B not. So C here you can see he C here. So you can see you have C not and C here. So when you have C not and C, you can cancel uh, C. So this uh, group is independent of C. So uh, that's why at the end you will come up with only one expression, and it actually involves A not B not. So in this case, uh, in this uh, expression actually B is not significant. Yeah, B is not significant. It doesn't give any. Uh, effect on the expression at all. So you can uh, ignore C yeah? in order to, when you produce a circuit, uh, input C is not significant. Yeah? So we'll see another example, the longer version of expression. So let's say we have this expression A not and B not and C or A not and B and C or A and B not and C or A, B, C. So there are one, two, three, four expressions that you need to simplify and produce the simplest version. Yeah? So this you have uh, three variables. Of course, you need to produce uh, eight uh, cells, uh, uh, K-map with eight cells. So this is the mapping for this expression. Yeah? Uh, this one. A not B not C. So A not B not C is goes to here. Yeah. So this is goes to here. A not B C will go to here. A B not C. A B not C will go to here. And A B C will go to here. So that's why you have this uh ones inside here. And then you can group together all one you can group together and then come up with the expression at the end uh, the, this longer expression actually is c yeah so another example so i'll just show, show you the solution um and then uh, you can pause this video and then try to come up with your solution and you will see the the answer in a moment. Okay, in this case, we will have uh, three groups of one. Yeah, three groups of one. So the first group, the second groups, and the third groups. So you need to have uh, from this expression, you can come up with uh, this simplest version of expression. Yeah. Okay, A, B. So, uh, which one is A, B? Which one is B, C? Which one is A, C? Okay, uh, A, B. A, B is come from uh, this special, this group. Eh? Uh, S, B, A, A, B is come from this group. And B, C. B, C is come from the this group. And A, C is come from this group. Yeah. So, this is A, C. So, you say A. And then this is C, right? C. 